so welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel my name is iris monroe we're gonna go ahead and give you guys a baby update it's december 10th today of 2018 and i'm actually 25 weeks and three days pregnant a few days ago we went for a baby checkup and she's actually weighing a pound and nine ounces another thing that shows in her ultrasound is that she's always like covering like her face mm -hmm. or her um ears. Her hands are always like up here. Yeah, her hands are always up here in her face. For some reason, I don't know why. She probably can't stand this already. <laughs> probably. <laughs> but probably more you. <laughs> she will she's not like, stop uh... bugging. She will not stop bugging her. She's also head down. She's been head down for a while now. Yeah, the whole time basically. Mm -hmm. She's been head down since as long as we can remember. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's extremely active. She loves to move. Every time I'm sitting down, she moves like crazy. It's, I feel like it's just purposely like every single time that I'm sitting down or laying down trying to sleep, that's when she decides she wants <laughs> to be up. But when I'm up and walking around, she's not really always moving. Sometimes I'll wake up in the middle of the night and <laughs> i'll feel her kicking like on the side of me she'll like i'll have my arm right my <laughs> i'll have my arm right here laying like on the side of my stomach and she'll be kicking my arm like she feels my arm um which i think is so cute but then i can't fall asleep because i'm just trying to feel her i don't know i feel like it's like an obsession that i just want to feel her it's crazy when I eat certain foods, I actually get like really bad heartburn. So it's kind of hard to eat certain foods because I just don't look forward to the heartburn. And then like it stays for a long time. And then when I'm asleep, it keeps me up. So it's kind of hard to sleep when I have heartburn. Yeah, she has a lot of, she wakes up a lot during the night. <laughs> a lot. I wake up like three times during the night to just use a restroom and drink water yeah because i get extremely thirsty like extremely <laughs> thirsty not just really like just drink some water put it down no she sits there and downs the whole cup <laughs> in one sitting i'll be like babe can i get some water and i'll grab it and it's all gone <laughs> and she's just sitting there happy living her life I usually stay <laughs> up in the night because i can't really sleep like when i wake up i'm just like up like and looking outside the window and <laughs> yeah like I'll, I'll be sleeping in a dead sleep and then I wake up and she's looking out the window <laughs> or she's walking around somewhere she's like she's doing something and then I'll wake up and look at her and sometimes she even starts laughing like <laughs> she thinks it's funny that she woke me up <laughs> or just the other morning <laughs> just the other morning it was like five or six in the morning okay. and she it wakes up five. she wakes up and i'm still asleep and then all like all of a sudden i wake up and she's just staring at me <laughs> just staring right at me and i couldn't go back to sleep so well i'm obsessed with looking at your sleep because <laughs> <laughs> you look like such a you look you look <laughs> It looks so innocent. Okay, and then <laughs> I get super hungry. I'll eat, and maybe about 20 30 minutes later, I'll feel my stomach grow. <laughs> I'll feel my stomach growling like so hard and so loud, and it's so uncomfortable because it just hurts up here. And I like, I want to eat like my body's hungry, but I don't want food because I just ate so it's like a constant battle between <clears throat> between trying to eat and not eating Well, is I do get really sleepy like I go to sleep really early, huh? Mm, yeah, I go to sleep really really early and I'll just knock out like I don't care what's happening in the she outside went to sleep world at five Not too long ago and slept the whole night I went to sleep morning. at 5 p.m. and then I woke up at 4 a.m. for work. <sighs> this is going to be the death of me because it's constant every single day. Back pain. I honestly never really experienced that with my first two pregnancies. But with this one, 
I don't know, like it, my back just hurts really, really bad. I guess I just notice it more now. Like I notice everything, I pay attention to everything, so that's why like I notice it. But I deal with really, really bad back pain, uh, foot pain. Zach stays massaging me. <laughs> I also get stomach discomfort like I feel like I just get so big and bloated and like with water and everything that my skin hurts like I feel just like everything is just taking over me and my stomach and it hurts really bad I get in a really bad mood mm, like I don't yeah. even want Zach like to touch my stomach or like be around be me. around her or anything it gets me so <laughs> mad Same. it makes me want to cry <laughs> Cause it just hurts let's see my cravings i crave lately i've been cra craving dirt i just want dirt i actually tried dirt today i didn't Did you really? tell you yes when i went from maryland mm -hmm. <laughs> what'd you do yeah i just got some dirt no i licked my finger i got some dirt and then i i pinched it and i put it in my mouth really yes it was good? <laughs> yes. It didn't taste bad. I did it like... But was it satisfying? Though? I did it out <clears throat> here. And then I did it at school again. I did it twice. Hmm. Dang. It was good. They taste different though. Wait. But it was so good. No, like dead different. ass. Like the two the dirts that she yeah. tasted? Yeah. <sighs> Talking about that, it makes me want to go downstairs and get some. Some dirt? Yeah. Another thing that I've been craving is fruit punch. I love fruit punch. Mm, she really does. Yeah, I used to not really drink fruit punch. My go-to was Dr. Pepper. It still is, but I find myself getting fruit <clears> punch <throat> a lot more. Because I just love the sweetness and it just feels like so good. Like, in my mouth. I just, I love it. <laughs> It feels so oh. refreshing. And don't even get me started on the Unstoppables. Oh, I could smell them forever. <laughs> this is a little bag that I have them in. <laughs> oh, and I could smell them forever. And I don't know how, and when she starts smelling them, she's like, babe, here, <sighs> here, here. Like yeah, she'll like force smell me to it. smell it. <laughs> I, can't, I can't smell he it He says too. it's too strong, it's but strong. it's not strong me, at all. Strong. No, like I could inhale it. And I even tasted it last time because I just felt like I needed to taste it. And it tastes like, at first it tastes like weird, but then it starts feeling like minty mm -hmm. and nasty. She tried to get me to eat one. <laughs> he didn't want to. No. He pretended he did. He tried to trick me, but he didn't. <clears throat> oh, it smells so good. <laughs> I see it'll be like this. I'll be like, no, babe. <laughs> okay, There's so no way I could smell this for that. I finally bought this no at 25 weeks pregnant. I finally bought this. This is a stretch mark cream that I use for my stretch marks. I love to use this. This is what I use for Marilyn and Joseph. I never got stretch marks, although I do hear from a lot of girls that they did use the use the same lotion but they still got stretch marks so honestly i feel like it just has to do with your body because yeah a lot of people um tell me that it doesn't work but a lot of girls tell me that it worked for them so but to me this is this is the go-to before this i was actually using just a johnson's baby lotion to hydrate my skin which feels good oh and i scratch my stomach a lot I leave myself scratch marks, and if you guys want to see my stomach, this is how big it is. <laughs> Zach says it looks tiny. No, I just, I told her that it seems like it's not, like, growing any more than it is, but it is. It it's going to grow is. out of nowhere. I feel like it's going to get, like, so huge and more uncomfortable. Another thing is I haven't taken off my belly button ring and I honestly don't know when I'm gonna take it off. I get a lot of questions asking me about how or when I'm planning on taking it out, but 
I don't think I'm going to take it out anytime soon because it doesn't bother me at all. So, yeah. Now we're going to go ahead and answer some questions for you guys that you guys want answered. It's just yep. going to be five <clears throat> questions to make this short. So this first question is from Veronica Trippy. Are the kids ready for the baby to come? By the way, I adore y'all. You're such a great mom. Aww, that's so sweet. Are the kids ready for the baby to come? The kids are definitely <laughs> really excited for the baby to come, especially Marilyn. Every single time we go to the store, she goes straight to the baby stuff and she says, my baby sister this, my baby sister. Like, she grabs everything for her baby sister, not even for herself. Like, she just wants to go to the baby stuff and see things for her baby sister. She's so excited. She's obsessed with her baby sister's stuff that she has right now. She'll literally stay staring at her clothes for like mm -hmm. 20, 30 yeah, when minutes. We first, when we first got her a couple outfits, mm -hmm. that's all Marilyn was with. Mm -hmm. She would open the bag, pull out all the clothes, and just look at them. Mm -hmm. the she would time. just look at them for like 20, 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. And who knows what she does with them or what she thinks, but she just like... She just stays staring at them and she loves it. So she's so excited. Mm -hmm. Joseph is really excited too. But he he's, just doesn't really show it too much. Like, yeah. He's not like Marilyn. No. He, he won't really show it. He's just no. more like. Joseph just like minds his own business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he doesn't really. <sighs> Sorry if I butcher your name, but Elena17. What is Zach's view on the whole experience of pregnancy so far? my views on pregnancy so far on this pregnancy um it's beautiful it's actually a really beautiful thing and it's it's a crazy experience i remember when i first started feeling the baby kick it was kind of like i still remember the the, the day you felt her kick mm -hmm. it was like it was, it was october 20th dang yeah oh. and marilyn felt her move for the first time november 20th so it was like, when I first felt her move, it was crazy. Because, I don't know, I didn't know what to expect. But, another is... She's moving. Can you see it? Uh-huh. She probably hears you. <laughs> probably. Another thing about pregnancy is her mood swings. <laughs> and, I remember, I would always see people talking about, oh, like... Pregnant girls are, they have their moods, they'll be happy, and then mad, and then sad, and it's, it's really like that. Because mm -hmm. one moment she'll be happy, and then all of a sudden she'll be mad. And then she'll go from mad to happy, and then she'll be happy, and then boom, sad. Like, it's just really quick, but also, sometimes she wants me to be around her. <laughs> like, when we go to sleep at night, she'll want me to be close to her, or at least turned over facing her <laughs> so she could feel close to me. She she even said that. <laughs> but for me, it's, it's beautiful. I love it. I love seeing her belly. I love it all. I love feeling her kick. It's, yeah. it's amazing. <laughs> Next question from B. Jacqueline. What do you imagine her looking like, you or Zach? Oh my god. I honestly think she's going to look like me for some reason. But then I think she's going to look like him. I mean, me, I'm saying that because I have really, really strong jeans. But I don't know about his jeans. I don't even know about my jeans. So, <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. But either way, we don't mind. No, we don't mind. <laughs> But to her, as long as she has colored eyes, then... No, I'll love her regardless. <laughs> You'll love her regardless, but... But I feel like if she comes out with colored eyes, oh my god, she's just going to be the most beautiful little human in the world. Either yeah. way, <laughs> still. Yeah. She's not going anywhere. But, like, characteristic-wise, Zach wants her to look like me. Mm -hmm. What do you want her to have of me? Uh, your hair? Mm. <laughs> My hair is wild right now. <laughs> yeah, but you have thick hair. And it's long and it's nice. 
It even has these like little highlights. I don't, Actually, know, if, I don't I... know if you guys can see it, but her hair is naturally at the ends just <laughs> highlighted. Like it goes from really like dark to getting browner to highlight. Yeah, no matter how many times I cut it, it still just gets like light down here. But I just cut my hair. I need to go get a haircut again because I messed up cutting my own hair. <laughs> Another thing that I want her to have a view. She's moving like crazy. I don't know. I think your lips. I want her to have your lips. I want her to have your lips. No, because your lips are like... Perfect. But your lips are small but big. Yeah, well, you want her to have small, big lips? Yeah, I think that's cute. <laughs> Daisy P. Does Zach know how to change a diaper? What makes this pregnancy different from the other two? Do I know how to change a diaper? Well, <clears throat> have you ever changed a diaper? I've never changed a diaper. But I'm pretty sure I know how to change a diaper. <laughs> I've seen people change a diaper. It's not that hard. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and film the first time he changes the diaper. You're gonna yeah, you're gonna teach me too. Oh yeah. You're gonna teach me everything. Yeah, I'm gonna that's teach a, that's him. another good thing about this pregnancy that I didn't really cover is that she already knows all this stuff. So going into it it's not like we're both blind to everything. I am. I'm pretty blind to it, but I could just go to her if I need help. So. Yeah, but either way, even before I got pregnant of Marilyn, even before my first pregnancy, I already knew how to take like care of a baby. Not everything, but most of the basic stuff because I had so many little baby cousins that I helped take care of. So I already knew. Yeah, so as of right now, I've never changed a diaper. But mm -hmm. it can't be that hard, right? What makes this pregnancy different from the other two? Uh, nothing much. Just the back pain. That's yeah. it. Yeah. What about the weight? No. No? Mm -hmm. Same. Alright. Well, the highest I went with Marilyn, the highest <laughs> I got, like the highest, highest I gained was 115. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Well, that's because you're way smaller back mm -hmm. then. But I was born a nine pound baby. So, mm -hmm. we'll see. We will see. My poor vagina. We're cutting that out. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, we are. All right. <clears throat> the last question from Lovely Rain. Are you and Zach moving out, and do you guys know what you're naming your baby? Love you. <sighs> okay. So we are really excited to share this news. Um, we actually put in our application for our first apartment today. Now, we're not really, really, really too sure. Like, because right now, basically, we already did the application and we did, we already put down the holding deposit to hold the apartment down for us. We got everything set. Mm -hmm. We have everything set. Now, we're just waiting for them to call us back on our credit, which, I mean... Which she has good credit. Yeah, I so. have really good credit and I have nothing bad on my credit. I don't even have credit. Yeah. So, no I mean, I'm pretty sure, hopefully, I pray to God everything with that turns out good. Because they say the credit score doesn't really matter just as long as you have nothing bad on your credit. That's mm -hmm. what she said. Yeah. And, and I don't, he doesn't, so. Right, so our move-in day is really, really soon. Mm -hmm. Like, really soon. You guys know what you're naming the baby. Yes. And I know a lot of you guys wanted to know the first letter of the name mm -hmm. which that's like to be honest we're still thinking about different names so right now we have we've been having our minds set like on this name but we're not too completely sure mm -hmm. but her name starts with the a and that's all we're gonna say <laughs> yeah that's all we're gonna say it starts because, with the a yeah and it's nothing like <clears throat> It's nothing that we thought that we thought about and made up. It's something that is like some people have it, but it's like super unique. Not a lot of people have it. Mm -hmm. At least not not that we've heard of. But so. you guys are more than welcome to try and guess. Yeah, <laughs> that should be exciting. But mm -hmm. anyways, this video is super long. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye.